Working with the OSC remote inside of Onyx is also easy to do. Let me show you how it works. First, we'll launch a show inside of Onyx, of course, then go to Menu, go to the main menu, and then under here, we're going to go to Settings and Interfaces. We need to make sure on the network interface that we're using for our main control network that we turn on OSC. So if you have multiple network cards in your Onyx device, like if you're on a console, um, you may use the, the remote for things like this, the Onyx remote, the OSC, and you may use a different connection for your network DMX. On a computer, it may be the same or different connection. So for this, choose the connection that you want for remote control and turn on OSC. Press apply and take note of the IP address while you're here. Perfect. Now, it's preferable to run this DHCP, I think, um, just because then it assigns the IPs automatically. But if you use this remote a lot in the same place, you might want to set static IP addresses because it's a little easier to configure day to day. Regardless, now let's go down to OSC. Here, we'll set our port for outgoing data. Just leave that exactly where it is at 8000 and make sure it's enabled on the network interface. Here on the bottom, a devices. We're now going to go ahead and create a device. So our first device at 9,000, this is what I would use for default. Turn this guy on, give it a name. We'll just call it uh, Touch OSC if you're using the Touch OSC app like I'm going to demonstrate here. Perfect. Device space. Again, if you want it um, to work independently of the console using different faders, you can set it to a different device space other than zero. Then the IP address. And so here I'm going to go into the Touch OSC app. Actually, I'll bring it over here for us on my tablet. And what we can see here now is we can go to Options in our Settings. Nope. Awesome. In the Settings, we can go here and click on OSC. And now it says Host, and uh, it has our local IP here right at the bottom. It's a little bit hard to see here. But we can see here, in this case, mine is 192.168.0.105. So we can type that in. Awesome. Now back to Onyx here. Uh, port, we can use the incoming port on the OSC. Leave that at 9,000. Awesome. And then we can press Apply and press Update. Now, on the device, we also have to set things up too. So here we can see we've got our host. And I don't have this set for this particular setup. So I need to set that. So the IP address of Onyx. And so that, as I said, take note of that before is on your settings interfaces page. So it's 192.168.0.109 in this case. All right, so now I get that IP set up. The outgoing port back to our OSC page here is 8000, which is what it's set to in the main settings page by default. Our incoming port is 9000 matches right here on the devices page. You can give it a name if you want, whatever. Um, I just left it as Android and then your local IP, which we've already used. So now we'll go ahead and uh, here in OSC, I'm just going to go ahead, verify all those. And then I can press my back button. Perfect. Now we need to get the layout. So if you haven't already gotten the layout, Go to support.obsidiancontrol.com and you'll see this page and you can download the layout on this page. It also has instructions. So once you get that layout, you can then go to layout, add from file. You can then go ahead, find it probably in your download folder right here. Awesome. Add that layout that you downloaded. It was giving me a warning there because I already have this and I'm overwriting it. Then you just scroll down and find it. So it's, it's going to be alphabetical here. Select that layout and then you can press done. Once you do that, you can see the layout. So this is really cool. Now I can go in here to Onyx and say, press update here. Press apply. Perfect. And once I do that inside of Onyx, we can see here that, hey, we can see our Onyx screen and all of our cues are written in here on the device. I can move my faders up and down. I can press play. If I scroll across here, I get all my playback buttons 
Here I get um, a customized example. You can customize these with the Touch OSC editor. And I'll link to that. It's a free app once you buy the Touch OSC app. So I'll link to that, all that stuff below. You've got a command keypad. So say I go in here and I go back in Onyx. And then I just start typing. So I go, you know, one through five at full. It does that in the command line. It does it inside Onyx. And so play around, have fun, you know, check out all the different screens. And uh, you can also, you know, create your own screens here inside of Touch OSC. And if you did enjoy this video, thanks for coming out here and checking out Learn Stage Lighting. Be sure to subscribe and also click the bell for updates. Super duper important. Now, if you are new here and you want to know more about Onyx, I've got a playlist that's going to pop up on the screen here that's going to show you the basics of Onyx. And I also want to get you even more resources over at LearnStageLighting.com. So check all that out, subscribe here, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.